This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 1231 of Horse Tip Daily, your almost everyday morsel of helpful hints, useful facts, and practical techniques for horse folks. Brought to you today by EquestrianCollections.com. Greetings, horse people. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today, Michelle Barr from Rightlead Equestrian Center in Louisiana joins me with a clever barn hack featuring a few very clever off-label uses for hay nets. And we'll get right to our tip after this from EquestrianCollections.com. When you need to resupply, replace, update, or invest in the stuff that makes your horse life possible, stop by EquestrianCollections.com first. Browse through some 7,000 boot choices from great brands like Ariat, Boggs, Mountain Horse, Ovation, Smoky Mountain, and more. Outfit yourself in the latest and the greatest. And don't forget your horse. EquestrianCollections.com offers some 400 blankets, sheets, and coolers from Buckus, Amigo, and Rambo by Horsewear, Hug, Kensington, Triple Crown Custom, and Weatherbeta, just to name a few. Your horse will be warm and dry and stylish this winter. Not sure what type of saddle pad you want? Well, go to Equestrian Collections because they have over 600 different choices. No matter whether you ride English, Western, or bareback around the backyard, EquestrianCollections.com has the most amazing selection of brand name products you are going to find anywhere. So stop by today, EquestrianCollections.com. I'm so happy to have Michelle Barr back here from Rightly Equestrian Center in Shreveport, Louisiana. She stops by on a regular basis here at Horse Tip Daily with all sorts of great advice and very clever life hacks. How are you doing today, Michelle? I'm good. How are you, Coach Jen? I'm doing fantastic. Now, I hear you? tell that you have got the world's most clever uh, hay net hack for us today. I do. Give us the and, backstory uh, I here. I How this happen? Credit. Yeah, I can't take credit for this. So, Dr. Emily with Boot Camp for Breaches had some of my horses at her place for a while and was bringing them back to me and was coming up to school cross country and do some lessons. And uh, she opens the back of the trailer and she has a horse who's just a bit of a weenie. He really is. And he gets too hot and he gets too cold and he's just his own special person. And uh, she had a hay net hanging in the front of the trailer. But there wasn't any hay in it. And she arrived at night. And I'm, I couldn't figure out what it was. So I said, what's in that, tra- in that hay net, Emily? And she said, it's a fan. And she had a generator running with an extension cord to it. It was a box fan. But she couldn't figure out any way to run a fan in this trailer for this horse because it gets really hot here. You guys know that because it gets really hot here too. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't um, matter how many windows you open in your horse trailer. It's too hot in there. Yeah. Well, and it's especially if it's full, you know, if you've got three horses and the yeah. three horse, it's, you know, and the sun's beating down on you in the summer in the south and it's, it's just hot. So I started thinking, what else can we do with this? This is a great idea. You could put it up at the show because how many times have we all almost broken our neck, our arm, our leg, or maybe we have done that, climbing up the side of a stall to hang a fan at a horse show? Yeah. You never have the wire. You got to have the zip ties. You got to have the hay string. You drop it, whatever. It's always easier for me to hang a hay net because I can put a snap on the end and throw that thing over the top. And it comes right back down to you because it's got a little weight on it. Yeah. So you can hang a fan at a show, at your house, in your run-in, wherever. Um, when my colt came back from his little visit to the hospital the other day, he couldn't go out. So we needed something to keep him entertained. And all I had was those... It was the small variety, but for the pasture balls, it wasn't a jolly ball that had a handle on it that you could do. 
you know, run a hay string through. And I tried my best to figure out how to hang that sucker with hay string and tie it up all just right. And I it couldn't, wasn't working. couldn't do it. No. No, unfortunately it was not. So I just put that sucker right there into the hay net and hung it up and instant toy. Oh my gosh, that is and so clever. You can't eat the hay string because, you know, some of them are more interested in what's holding it up right. than they are in the ball. So, you know, if you use it with a hay net, you know, a lot of horses are, are more familiar with a hay net than a mm-hmm. nylon strap or something hanging in their stall and might leave it alone. That is de- dang, that's clever because you could put um, like the, the, the exercise balls like they make for people or the balls that people sit on at their oh, desk. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a good idea. In. Yeah. I mean, I think this is, this is a pretty adaptable thing here. You could do all kinds of variations. On you it. could put, if you had a small hole hay net, which I have lots of because I have a hay net fetish, the first, <laughs> the first thing about you have to first, you have to admit you have a problem. I have a hay net fetish. Okay. Um, moving on, you could put that's a, cheap a whole... one, so that's good. I mean, yeah. you could have a saddle fetish, right? Really <laughs> yeah, fetish. there you go. Yeah, you could put you could put um a whole bunch of little balls in a in a hay net if you use a small net, the small hole kind. Yeah, that would actually that sounds like fun to me. That'd make it all jumbly, and uh, I could see them banging around with their nose. Yeah, it might make it more interesting. You're trying to grab the balls. Yeah. yeah, I think that's really cool. That's a great idea. I'm going to have to try that in Scooter Stall because Scooter will play with things. Um, ah. Beaker, Beaker, will, Beaker will just look at it with contempt. Yeah, well, that's kind of how Emma is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, the to- stall I'll toys are... put something yeah. in my stall. He, those are beneath him. He doesn't do stall toys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cool idea. So you can put a fan in it because it will envelope the fan and you can hang it up easily mm-hmm. and quickly. You can put a ball And it assumes whatever shape of right. you know, whatever you. Yeah. So yeah. I just, I thought that was just real clever. And if you had in your, because some trailers have an outlet of some type that you can actually plug the fan right. directly into. And some trailers you'd have to right. do the appropriate wiring and put Be a creative be an inverter and things like that. Um, you would want right, to make sure right. that your electricals are appropriately <clears throat> installed and safe, but the actual hold the fan still great yes. idea. The most clever uses ever for hay nets. And if um, anybody out there has other clever uses for hay nets, please write us at horse tip daily. Oh, yes. Go to the website. I'm going to use them. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks again, Michelle. If folks want to get a hold of you because they want to have a clinic, they want to have riding lessons, they need to judge for their horse show. Where can they find you? They can find me on the internet, easiestrightly.com. We are on Facebook. We have a Facebook page and it's just Rightly Equestrian Center. Um, Email me directly. You can email me from either of those places, but you can email me directly at Michelle with two L's, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, at rightweed.com. Awesome. Well, there you have it. You can find links to today's guests, including Michelle's links, as well as lots more tips at horsetipdaily.com. Make sure you have all of the favorite Horse Radio Network shows with you wherever you go by downloading the free Horse Radio Network app for iPhone or Android. Just go to your app store and search Horse Radio Network. You can also subscribe via iTunes. And thanks again to today's sponsor, EquestrianCollections.com. This is Coach Jen, and I'll be back again soon with another tip. So until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. (laughs) 